Hi and welcome to this part of the C Sharp tutorials. On this part, we are going to talk about loops in C Sharp. Now, if you want to execute your code for a certain number of times or until a certain condition is met, you can use the C Sharp loops. And in C Sharp, we have three types of loops. We have the for loop, the while loop, and the do while loop. So let's get started with the first one, which is the for loop. The for loop is usually used when you already know the number of times that you want to repeat the execution of your code. So for example, let's say you want to display to the users 10 times hello from C sharp. And this is what you can write to do that. We see that the for loop starts with the keyword for, and then it has three parts. We have the initiation statement, the test condition, and the increment statement, which are all separated from each other by a semicolon. Here in this case, we see that the initial value of i is one. Then we have the condition that i should be less than 11, and then the increment, which says i++, means that after each execution, we are going to increase the value of i by 1. The for loop will keep on executing until the test condition returns false. So in this case, when i will become 11, it will compare in here that i is not less than 11, and it will simply exit this for loop. So let us save the changes and run this application by pressing Ctrl F5 and see the result. So here we have 10 times the hello from C sharp message displayed in our screens. If we go back to our for loop, it doesn't mean that the number should start from one. It can start from any number. The condition can be anything in here and the incrementation can also be another number. So for example, if you want to increment by two, you can just write i plus equal to. This means that now the i value will increment by two. Run the application one more time. This is the result that we are going to get. So instead of 10 times, we see the message only five times. And we see that the incrementation goes from one to three to five because we defined it that it should increment by two. Another important loop in C sharp is the while loop. And the while loop, the same like the for loop, it will keep on executing until a certain condition is met. So let us change the for loop in here into a while loop. The first difference is that you do not define the initial value within the while loop, but you define it outside its declaration. So in here, let us just write int j is equal to one. And to create a while loop, we simply type while in here. And inside the declaration, we need to put the test condition, which in this case would be j is lower than 11. And then next we display what we want to display to the users. So it's going to be hello from C sharp. And then at the end, we increment by the value we want, the initialization parameter, which in this case is j. So I'm going to just increment j by one. For that, I type in here j plus plus. Change the value of i to j. And then save the changes. You can comment out the for loop and run the application to see the result. So here we have the same message like with the for loop. Hello from C sharp 10 times. The same way, if you want to change the incrementation, you can just write in here J plus equal to two. Run the application. And here you will see only five results because the incrementation step was changed from one to two. And the last loop in C sharp is the do while loop. Do while loop is similar to the while loop, but in the do while loop, the test condition 
is put at the end of the loop, which means that the code inside the loop is executed at least one time. Let's change our while loop to a do while loop. To create a do while loop the same way, you need to create an initialization variable. So for that, I will just write in here int i is equal to one. And then I start this loop by typing the do keyword. So what do we want to do? We want to display to the users this message. I change the j to i. And then here we need to put the condition. So the condition is going to be that i is less than 11. But for this loop to be completed, you need to define the increment statement. And you do that just before you end this loop. So the same like in the while loop, you just write in here i++. plus plus, And then you can save the changes. So let us run the application. And here we see that from 1 to 10 are the results that come from the do while loop and 1 to 9 with a step of 2 are the results that come from the while loop. As we mentioned in the do while loop, the check condition is down here, which means that this part of code will be executed at least once, even though the condition might be wrong. Let us just change this value to 12, which in this case the condition will be wrong, but since we check for it afterwards, we expect this value to be shown to the screen one time and run the application. So here we see that 12 hello from C sharp, but we don't see the 13 because the condition will be wrong. And once the condition is wrong, we are going to be out of this loop. So guys, this is all for this part. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do so you don't miss the upcoming parts.